In just days after another massive Samsung Odyssey Plus price cut going for 229 on the Microsoft Store, Samsung filed in China patents on what it likes to be the next generation Odyssey virtual reality headset. I guess I'm here, so let's take a look together to this next generation Odyssey product. I guess we're making a video on Sunday, aren't we? Let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, here we are. So Samsung has a mystery to make custom Windows Mixed Reality headsets. Uh, we saw it with the first Odyssey, with the second Odyssey, because when all the other were following the rules on Microsoft directly, on Samsung they were actually using different screens where we had OLEDs instead of LCD displays, different kind of lenses, different kind of form factor at the end and also different controllers. So if you want a premium experience on Windows Mixed Reality, well, the Samsung Odyssey was the best bet you had. And also it was actually one of the cheapest, it's still one of the cheapest virtual reality headsets that you can get right now to 29 for a full-fledged VR experience is just insane. And I always suggest the Samsung Odyssey Plus and you know better than me because I've always been impressed by the quality of these headsets, even if they were a little uh, kept behind by the fact that the tracking on Windows Mixed Reality has never been like the best in something. It was the first to introduce inside out tracking, the one that now we're using on the Quest and the Oculus Rift Pass, for example. But uh, yeah, they never got better in three years that is out. And so yeah, those two cameras weren't just enough. Now these images are from new patents filed in China recently. So uh, you can get a first look at this headset, but it seems like they're very well done. So uh, we could actually expect these to come out in the near future. Because if we have an history with the Samsung products, we had the first Odyssey three years ago, then two years ago, we had the revision with the Odyssey Plus with the entire S screen or effect. And this year, last year, uh, right now, uh, we kind of missed the appointment and nothing arrived. But here we are with a new product that seems like an evolution of what it was, the Samsung Odyssey Plus. Here we are with the first picture from the patent. As you can see, it's a rendered, so it's not a real headset yet, but it seems like to be pretty well rendered. So probably something that we're gonna expect to see in the future. Now, let's start with the comfort. What is particular about this, that we have a design that is kind of in the middle uh, between a, uh, the old Elo style design of the Odyssey Plus and for example the Deluxe Audio strap or the Valve Index design where you have a strap that closes on your back and cup your crane a little and we can see it over here for example where it opens. Now there's no dial on the back if you notice right away but we have a big button over here that seems like to be the mechanism that then is gonna open this strap up so you can close it on you again. Uh, I think this is gonna work like that at least. Now what we notice from here as well is that we have the usual up and down volume buttons that we are used to on the Odyssey Plus but there's no IPD adjustment. Also we can see that we have the audio that is very similar to the one of the old Odyssey Plus or the old Odyssey that is still a great kind of audio with over-the-ear headphones with special audio so probably they kept the same design because you know if you win in that why change it but let's move directly to the second picture over here as you can see we have that strap that cup your forehead as well so the balance is going to be better than the one that we had before for sure with the Halo style and also we have a bigger part on the back over here to cup your crane better. As you can see, we have the cable. So it's still a PC VR headset. The cable that starts from this uh, left part and then goes uh, toward the back. And we have the logo of the Odyssey on the front. Now I wanna go to something that interests me a lot on this headset. And beside the fact that it's white and I like the fact that finally it's white because we have just black virtual reality headsets. So uh, to have some uh, brightness in there is just a nice thing, at least this is my opinion. Uh, but if we look at the front, we have this uh, kind of a uh, frunk where there's a particular frame on it. But before of that, I would like to notice the curvature of the headset in the front. It's not flat like it's usual, but because of recent patents about Samsung using their 
flexible displays, also in virtual reality headset, well, this could be a hint about it. And also the fact that we have the heating grills on the top in this position, it could be that the screens are actually canted, so with a certain inclination, to make the FOV better. Because we're used to the Windows Mixed Reality headset where the FOV was around 100, 110, like all the other virtual reality headsets from the past. And, you know, FOV is a new trend. We have a bigger FOV uh, with the index, for example. And, well, maybe we're gonna have a bigger FOV with this one too. From the design, it seems like it's something that it could be possible. Using a curved screen design, maybe also just a singular screen, you could have a bigger FOV, of course, with the right lenses on the front. Unfortunately, we don't have any pictures about the lenses, so uh, we have to keep this just on the speculation part of the video. And uh, let's get to the next picture. We can see a little better over there without the top. So it seems like this top is actually replaceable, and it seems also like we are gonna have different colors for this headset. I just talked about the fact that it's white. Well, it seems like uh, it could be also black. Yeah, so you can choose directly. Now, let's look at this frame. This seems like a metal frame and it's a little weird, but also we have a confirmation about the fact that under it, this part it seems like to be a little curved. So probably we're really gonna have a curved display down there. Now, I don't know why we have this kind of frame over there, but uh, seen at these particular holes that we have all around, let me change the color here, uh, seen all these holes that we have around, well, this is a render, so we don't have any information, but because we have six holes around, maybe they're gonna house the cameras and we're gonna have six cameras for the tracking, so maybe a new update on Windows Mixed Reality. There seems like to be not enough to have a good tracking when it comes to SteamVR tracking, so the lighthouses, but there are no cameras there. So now we're more towards SteamVR tracking than what is gonna be Windows Mixed Reality. Or maybe the old faceplate is gonna be replaceable, so you're gonna be able to change it in base of the tracking that you want. Now let's get to the pictures for the patent. From here we can see a little better also the faceplate with all these different holes that probably they're gonna house cameras or they're gonna house the Steam Tracker receivers. And in the last picture, we can see the bottom, where again, we don't have any IPD adjustment, but from this picture, we can see even better the curvature of the display. That seems like to be a real thing over here, because if we put like just the line, from where display it should be or over here. For example, it will not be possible because the nose part, it will be over the display already. So that means that we're gonna have or two display in this position, or we're gonna have a single curved display going around and the lenses in the two parts over here to have probably a bigger FOV. So that's why this is probably the most interesting picture that we have right now because we can really understand the way this design is made, the way this virtual reality headset is made. But yeah, that was all. These were the different pictures that we have of this new Odyssey product. There are many questions out there because we don't really know. First of all, it's gonna be a real product in the future. Second, we don't know the price and we don't know even the platform that it's gonna be part of because from a certain part, it looks like it uses uh, Steam trackers, but we don't really have Steam trackers all around the headset and in the front are just not enough. And on the other, that space is just maybe ready to be filled up with different mods that you can substitute to have a different tracking like we saw on the Vive Cosmos, for example. Well, we're gonna see for sure in the future. Stay tuned for this because anything new is gonna come out. Well, uh, we're gonna talk about it because I'm really interested by this headset. And of course, while I was editing the video, more pictures came out. And as you can see, we have more pictures from different patents directly from Samsung with this very weird design, this time from the front part. So that could be a confirmation that the front part uh, is you can substitute the front part or that this just probably a different headset because we also have like big holes around probably for the camera. Maybe we're gonna have two different versions, one with the SteamVR tracking, one with the Windows Mixed Reality tracking, but this time with four cameras. We don't really know, but look at this, that is super interesting. We have actually a look and another render 
with this like wasp design that is very very weird and then we can see still though the frame under but this time looking at the pictures above it seems like we're actually housing a camera in there or more cameras and uh, this is gonna be just the way you're gonna look through and that, that is just very weird and it's very fun and because I'm gonna use this for the thumbnail well I wanted to tell you why I use this because they just came out and this could give a new confirmation of two maybe two different headsets for different markets and uh, yeah another look of something that probably we're gonna see I don't know what you think about this design please let me know in the comments below because I think that is awesome <laughs> it's freaking amazing but uh, yeah it's very very weird but yeah that's been it <laughs> see you guys next video thanks for watching ciao and yeah, that was all. This was our first look at this new virtual reality headset from Samsung. I can't wait to see more and for sure you are as well. Let me know what you think about it in the comment below. Do you agree that we have actually a curved design on the display that will be the first in class? And uh, Samsung is good for innovation. So I kind of think we're going to see it. Let me know in the comment below. And as always, guys, if you liked the video, like. If you didn't like the video, dislike. Subscribe to the channel for more of VR tech. And I see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.